So this question is posted by LC. A man gave 50 percentage of his savings uh, of rupees 168200 to his wife and divided the remaining sum among his sons Abit and Bist on of age 15 and 13 respectively. He divided it in such a way that each of his son when they attain 18 years age would receive 5 percentage compound interest per annum. The share of Bist was what? See in this question now, if you read this question like that, see what you understand. The man has uh, total savings is 168200. So, 50 percentage of his savings he is given to his wife. Remaining 50 percentage he is giving his son. Two sons, right? One is 15 years old and one is 13 years old. See, what was given here? He divided it in such a way that each of his sons, when they attain 18 years of age, would receive the 5 percentage compound interest per annum. See, in this part, actually, there is a typo error in the question. Okay? So, the actual question should be, um, he divided it in such a way that uh, when they um, attain 18 years, both of them would receive the same amount of 5 percentage compound interest per annum, right? So, would receive, here it should be the same amount of 5 percentage compound interest per annum. The share of BIST was dash. Yes, both of them would receive equal amount. Basically, each son gets an equal amount. This should be there in the question. So, that's why I say when you are solving questions uh, from various websites or other sources, please refer to sources which are genuine, right? Or genuine or uh, which are correct more or less, right? Yes, all everything 100 percentage correct you might not get. There might be a mistake sometimes here and there. But there are some websites where you find lot of errors. So, don't follow such websites to... Uh, solve questions right see this question otherwise you can't solve it first of all we are not able to understand the question itself when this part is not given but when this part is given then understanding the question becomes very very easy okay so try this question now so let's try to solve it what is given here a man gave 50 percentage of his savings of rupees 168200 to his wife so how much has he given to his wife he has given 50 percentage or half of it so what is half of this that is nothing but 84100 correct so so much he has given to his wife and how much has he given to his children same amount right half is going for his wife and the remaining half he has given to his children now um, so, out of this 84100 that both the children receive, right, Abid and Bist, A and B, let us take it as A and B, right, A and B are receiving together 84100. So, if I say that A is receiving X rupees, then how much rupees is B receiving? B will receiving 84100 minus X rupees, okay. Now, what is, uh, what is happening? See, this... Uh, a is 15 years old or I can say in 3 more years, right, in 3 years A will become 18 years, correct. So, this amount of X rupees has to be invested uh, uh, with compound interest of 5 percentage for a period of 3 years only because in 3 years A is becoming 18 years old. Similarly, this B, right, this B is currently 13 years old. So, in how many years will he become 18 years old? In 5 years, he will become 18 years old. Now, what is given? He has divided the money in such a way that when the children become 18 years old, they will get the same amount. Okay. So, what is happening here? X rupees is invested at 5 percentage compound interest for 3 years and the amount that A gets is same as investing 84100 minus X rupees for 5 years at 5 percentage compound interest. So, you just have to equate these two and get the answer, right? The question is what is the share of B? So, you have to find out this value, right? This is what they are asking. So, what is the amount that A will get? So, A, for A, he is investing X rupees at 5 percentage compound interest for 3 years. So, this is the amount that A will receive at the end of 3 years. What is the amount that B will receive at the end of 3 years? Sorry, B will be for at the end of 5 years, correct? B, for B, he has to invest it for 5 years because B is only 13 years old now. So, solve for this, find out the value of X and find what is 84100 minus X.
calculation part this will get cancelled here you will have 2 so you will have x is equal to a 84100 zero zero minus x into 1.05 the whole squared correct or uh, 1.1025 so actually I think when you solve you will get x is to be approximately 44100 or uh, the answer that we are looking for right b will get answer will be option 2 clear so what they are trying to say here is in the question is that for one person one, one child he is investing for three years at five percentage compound interest uh, and for the other child he is investing for five years at five percentage compound interest and the amount that both of them receive at the end is going to be the same uh, see he divided it it is given here he divided it in such a way that each of his sons when they attain 18 years of age would receive the same amount at 5 percentage compound interest per annum so very clearly it is given he should they will receive the same amount so uh, it is they are not referring to the interest the amount is equal so here also we are calculating the amount right in compound interest what is the amount amount is nothing but p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power n the interest if it was the compound interest then it would be p into 1 plus r by 100 whole to the power of n minus 1 correct so it is the amount which is equal here that is why we are equating the amounts